Hello everyone. In today's episode of The Way of the Cyber, I will be answering uh, a, qu a series of questions that were sent by one of the people that contacted me on LinkedIn. I think that his questions will, will help a lot of, uh, of you. You also uh, will we'll get started. So this is Hay from Detroit. Uh, his first question was, what did you start off with in terms of learning? So when I was, a, I guess I started out as a, as a kid, I started, uh, you know, with computers, I was learning a lot and playing, you know, my games and, you know, from time to time, you know, taking apart the computer. So I, I count that as, as, a, as my start, my first uh, experience with computers and later on that kind of evolved into, you know, uh, understanding how they work and how they connect to one another, uh, you know, websites, the early days of the internet and, and, and that. So, I mean, that was, that was kind of my, my way of, of starting with computers. I always knew, I guess, that I wanted to be in this field. So that was my start. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it has to be everybody started it for that matter. I mean, it, it could, I've spoken to a lot of people that, uh, that are coming from such a variety of, of backgrounds that uh, everybody has something to bring to the table and that's what's important. So just keep that in mind. Uh, next question is, how long did it take you to refine your skills? So ever, probably ever since I, I ever got my first system computer, uh, I've been refining my skills like everybody else, right? We're always learning it. And this is what's important about technology or, you know, your, your dealings with, with IT and security in this case, is that you're always learning. You should not think that, uh, you know, you, you will stop learning uh, because if you do, then, then it's, it's going to, it's not gonna help you really evolve and, and, and become, you know, that, you know, engineer or that, that you wanna be. So you're you're always learning, and that's 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 a given. Uh, you know, you're always googling things. I mean, that you'll you'll probably realize in, in, in case you don't already know that that you're always searching and, and learning new things, uh, reading it, whether articles about things or issues or about the latest vulnerability or the latest technology or how to use something or how to install or deploy something. So you you, you find it that you're always learning. You're always refining your skills. You're always improving yourself in your in your in your knowledge base next question is when should i start looking for a job i think you should uh, look for a job all the time you should always be open to opportunities you should always uh, look at those job descriptions that that really uh, interest you so in other words if you want to become a uh, you know sock analyst or you want to become a sort of security analyst you should look at those job descriptions and really learn and see what the requirements are for, you know, to, to, to see what the companies are requiring, what technologies, what products, what what skills, you know, whether hard or soft skills. You should always be looking at those um, at those variables that, you know, if you're, you're really serious about pursuing those, those roles. So, I mean, that's, that's, to me, that's my perspective. Just be open, uh, research, you know, always refine those, those, those skills and, and, and become exactly that person or, or professional you want to become. Uh, the next question is military and computer science. Can I get a job in, a, in the military with a computer science degree? Uh, and my answer is, I don't know about the military. I, I think you, you likely would. Uh, but what I do know is that uh, the federal government is uh, investing a lot of money, and, and that is like in the billions. On, on training staff, also on hiring hundreds of, of you know, not thousands, of engineers to, to help the government uh, harden their systems because, as you probably could imagine, there's a lot of, still a lot of issues and a lot of vulnerabilities and, and they're just kind of short, really short staff. So then again, just, uh, you know, look, go to those job sites, go to the government sites. There's a lot of portals out there that help you beyond LinkedIn, you know, jobs, for example. And you, you might be surprised. I mean, even the FBI and all these agencies are, are hiring people with, uh, with technical knowledge uh, specifically to, you know, to protect their, you know, their, their systems and technologies and data. Um, so 
The next question is is one that uh, that I get all the time uh, and that I even wonder about and I give a lot of thought uh, to, which is 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 the school or, or college worth it? Uh, and and I and my answer is yes, it is. Uh, and, and not just because <laughs> I've invested uh, a lot of time and effort on on my masters or my, my bachelors, but also because uh, school really gives you a different perspective. The interactions, the, the, the you know the team projects, um, it, it gives you you know it gives you that perspective. Not that uh, you know not having a uh, a college degree means that you're not a good uh, engineer. I mean, it doesn't really mean that. It just it just means that you went through a school, that you learned, that you you're able to to produce um, you know reports, and that you're able to, to you know to understand the knowledge that that's been transferred to you. Uh, it's like then again, it's discipline uh, also. So um, if you're not enrolled, for example, if, if you're not into into colleges or or, or those kinds of academics. Uh, there's always the uh, there's the certifications that you can always pursue. Uh, you know, you can become a, an ethical hacker. You can have certifications for, for that. You can certify yourself in, in actual products to deploy, you know, an antivirus, to deploy a firewall, to deploy uh, an email gateway, or to deploy, you know, a number of products, virtualization, you, cloud systems, you name it. You know, the sky's the limit with, with certifications. So. They're both equally uh, as important. What matters ultimately is how you present yourself, your uh, you know your your, your hands-on knowledge, and how much you can really apply that in a, on the job. That that's actually quite important. And uh, so that wraps it up for the school question. The last question or observation is: I'm 23 years old and I'm starting a, my my junior year, year in college. Am I too late? And and definitely. The answer is nobody is ever too late to learn, right? Because we're always learning something new, and, and then things do change. What you know, maybe what I've learned ten years ago, is, it's kind of it's really outdated now. It needs it needs updating, and, and that's that's what what uh, every engineer, um, whether you're working cyber or just general IT, is supposed to always be learning the, the latest and you know greatest uh, technology, just because it evolves evolves so quickly. So. Just do not be afraid to ask questions. Do not be afraid to learn. Uh, I mean, you, you have to like the challenge to be in this field. You have to like to to uh, to be always updating yourself. Uh, but uh, then again, you know, just uh, don't ever don't ever stop and doubt, doubt yourself that you that you can actually make it. Um, so I guess that wraps it up for for tonight. Uh, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, I definitely appreciate your comments and questions. Um, you know, make it make this channel worthwhile uh, for, for all of us. So uh, have a good night uh, and thank you for your time.